Another topic in mathematics for efficiency is graph theory. In this math area, we look into how we can model networks such as road networks and even telecommunication networks. In this topic, we shall study some terminologies and how it is applied in solving the shortest path problem. This is a portion of a road map in Manila. Suppose that you are standing at the red point and you want to go to the yellow point which is located northeast of the red point. How does Google solve the shortest path between the red point and the yellow point? Google Maps will make use of a network which we call graphs which is seen as black outlines on your screens right now. So Google would suggest that from the red point, we go eastward. And then we go eastward again. And then northwards. Northwards again. Northeast. Northwest. And finally, southwest. So Google is actually applying lessons from graph theory. Now, what is graph theory? It is the study of graphs, which are mathematical structures used to model pairwise relations of objects. In the example earlier, the intersection of the roads would be the points of the graphs. And if the intersections are connected by a road, then the road will be represented by a line. Graph theory originally began in the early 1700s in a Russian town named Konigsberg, which is now known as Kaliningrad. This town has seven bridges connecting the islands A, B, C, and D. People from this town posed a particular question. The question was, is it possible to take a walk through town, crossing each of the seven bridges just once, and ending up wherever you started. The famous Swiss mathematician Leonard Euler heard of the problem and tried to solve it and found out that it's not possible and in the process invented graph theory. So Leonard Euler made use of the following graph. This graph has four blue points and seven lines connecting the four blue points. The four blue points represent the four islands of Konigsberg, while the seven lines are the seven bridges. So that's why it's a classical problem in graph theory, which we call the seven bridges of Konigsberg. In the next video, you will learn about the different terms in graph theory.